travel across America with me. We're going mushroom hunting today and mushroom cooking. We will be going out to the forest and into the kitchen and to the grocery store. You say you don't like mushrooms? Why not? Have you tried them? Maybe you need to try some of the specialty ones. Maybe you need more garlic, more salt. Chili powder always makes things better. We enjoy going to specialty markets, and one of them that we like is located in Houston and in the Fort Worth area, and it's called Central Market. Looking for something relatively normal, you won't find it there. But what you will find are some exceptional items, like mushrooms, edible ones, of course. This is going to be more of a healthy video, um, but don't those look good? All right, to the mushrooms. I really didn't realize that there were so many different kinds. Trumpet mushrooms, white alba mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, lobster mushrooms, brown alba or beach mushrooms, black truffle mushrooms, $379 a pound. I don't think so, we're gonna pass on those. Aren't these beautiful? We bought a collection of different ones, including lion's mane, and we're going to saute them and have a lovely side dish. A friend of ours goes out in the woods and gets chicken of the wood mushrooms. He dehydrated these and gave us a jar full, so we added these to our saute. And since mushrooms are so full of water, it was reduced down, but what a beautiful side dish. I just used a little bit of olive oil. You won't want to miss the bonus feature after the stew. Yes, I'm making a mushroom stew. We sauteed what was left of the chicken of the wood and a few other stragglers from our collection that we got at the store. We're going to make a mushroom stew. We're going to have a few extra ingredients. We will chop approximately a half of an onion, one celery stalk, and one garlic clove and three tablespoons of olive oil and saute these vegetables. We'll add some Tony Sacheries and some ground black pepper. Use your favorite seasonings. We will add one can of diced tomatoes. I like this brand because it has a little kick to it. I like things with a kick. And add a can of red kidney beans. I guess you could add whatever beans you wanted, but I think these work the best. And add the exotic mushrooms of your choice. I'm using the rest of the ones that we didn't eat and the leftover chicken of the wood. I think a little chili powder will go perfect in this stew. Sorry, I don't like to measure, uh, but it's probably about a tablespoon. And then some chicken bouillon. You could probably use tomato bouillon if you wanted. Again, about a tablespoon. And two to three cups of water. Just make sure that the water covers everything. Bring to a boil and then simmer for at least an hour. You know, it's one of those things that if you just let it sit longer, it tastes better. But usually I'm in a rush, I need to get something done. And with my lifestyle, it's now, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. And I know a lot of you live that kind of way. And so something quick is great. And this is a little on the healthy side, but I thought, you know, a little frozen corn in here might go well and add a new dynamic. It was yummy and different. And now the moment you stay tuned in for a display of mushrooms through the forest to see mushrooms. They are so cute. When I hike and it's in the spring and summertime and I see all these mushrooms popping up, it's hard for me to keep a good pace on the trail. Don't just go eating mushrooms out in the forest. You need to know what you were doing. A lot of people love going out and picking mushrooms. We have several friends that do just that. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? Please subscribe. Hiking boots on the ground. Unclassic road trip.